the forehead of your robot. Do you recall the ad titled, Piracy It's an Awful? It features the renowned statement, you wouldn't take a car, and energetic rock music. There was a cautionary note regarding the act of downloading illegal movies. As a child, I came across this advertisement numerous times while watching classic DVDs, like Ice Age, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Simpsons Movie, Trolls, The Magic of the Five, Surf's Up, Monster House, and other similar titles. The remaining part is yours. However, there is a story I recently stumbled upon, that I have not yet shared with you. Prepare yourself as I inform you. On a particular Saturday morning, I strolled into the city to purchase some provisions. I observed that the market had started operating. The idea of exploring the market intrigued me, hence I decided to proceed without hesitation. I headed to the DVD section in search of content that caught my interest, be it nostalgic TV series from my younger years, or newer releases that caught my attention. I hesitated over numerous DVD cases, until I came across something very recognizable. The DVD in question was an extended version of the Piracy It's a Crime film. The advertisement highlighted the four commonly committed offenses, car theft, purse theft, television and DVD theft, while also showing a girl using a computer at the center. Fortunately, I remembered to bring my wallet, in case I feel like purchasing something for myself. I had a conversation with the individual at the courthouse, who informed me that the cost was merely $7.95. I exchanged money in order to obtain the DVD. The man uttered some words before my departure. In the near future, it would be prudent to dispose of this particular DVD. The visual content could be quite unsettling, and may be difficult for some individuals to endure. My recommendation for you would be to refrain from uploading it to the internet. I strolled back to my place without the slightest interest, to take along my own purchased items. I let my mother know that I arrived home without issues, and presented her with the DVD. It appears to strike a chord with me, she remarked. I was taken aback by the fact that she recollected the anti-piracy commercial. Upon reaching my room, I retrieved the DVD from my possession, and proceeded to insert it into my Xbox One gaming console. The piracy ad, commonly found on many Warner Brothers DVDs, is typically showcased alongside the language selection feature at the start of the DVD. As an Australian citizen, I opted for the selection of Australia. A cautionary message appeared after I made my selection. The horror movie targeted edition of the piracy advertisement was tailored for theater audiences in 2005 and eventually discontinued in late 2008. The material that follows may be highly unsettling and inappropriate for young audiences. It is recommended that viewers exercise caution while watching. I've already done an expression of concern. Oh no, excrement. I have to watch this. I complained. As customary, the commercial commenced with an adolescent girl sitting in front of a computer. She attempted to obtain an illegal copy of a motion picture through downloading. The advertisement swiftly transitioned into its opening statement, You wouldn't steal a car, which abruptly appeared on the screen. The scene depicted an individual who appeared to be a young adult male, attempting to burglarize a vehicle using an unidentified implement, forcefully inserting it through the car's window. With success on his side, he was able to unlock the car door, and appeared to be in the process of hijacking it. The camera captured footage inside a store selling DVDs, where a male individual slyly removed a DVD from a shelf, and concealed it in his jacket. Rather than portraying the opposite of the crime scenes, the advertisement depicted additional criminal acts. Oh my goodness, were they in a chaotic state? The display revealed an abrupt message. You would not take flesh in a red font. In place of the customary blue and red flashing background resembling police lights, there was a bloody spray around. As I laid my gaze on the distressing screen, my pupils dilated in shock. As I watched the following clip, my eyes opened wider in surprise. The video depicted a deceased individual next to a living man, indicating a possible scenario of the latter being responsible for the former's death. The individual proceeded to carve the flesh of the deceased individual's right arm and then consumed it. While flashing a threatening grin, he erupted into a maniacal laughter. 
with a neutral expression, I observed the screen. This extended version has been infused with elements of horror. The subsequent video displayed a message, which read, You wouldn't take an authorized possession of a deceased body. The camera initially captured the lifeless body of a woman, lying beside a refrigerator, followed by the subsequent shot of a man shrouded in darkness with bright white eyes, likely indicating his role as the perpetrator of the woman's death. He hurried towards her, and lifted her off the ground, carrying her to his bedroom wardrobe, or closet for my American audience, where he concealed her from view. While reading, another segment of text abruptly ceased to function, and displayed. You wouldn't steal a bone. Before a man appeared in the scene and took hold of it, the footage depicted an individual's injured arm with exposed bones. After offering the bone to his companion dog, he realized that the dog had violent tendencies, attributed to its razor-sharp teeth and red eyes. The previous video was presented, and oh my goodness. The situation was quite chaotic. The displayed content was labeled with the heading, Taking a chainsaw without permission isn't acceptable. In the closing sequence, an individual about to cut down a tree with an axe was approached by another, who engaged in a struggle for control of the tool. Ultimately, the second person succeeded in using a chainsaw to fatally wound the woodcutter, before making a quick escape. The advertisement portrayed the crime footage at a rapid pace in reverse, followed by the words, Downloading pirated films is stealing, against a backdrop of bloodstains. The scene portrayed the girl patiently sitting in front of her computer, anticipating the completion of the illegal film download. While the movie was playing, there were intermittent scenes flashing on the screen, one of which depicted the repeated phrase, Stealing is against the law, simultaneously portraying the girl illegally downloading the movie. Afterwards, the young lady terminated the illegal downloading of the movie, rose from her seat, and retrieved her backpack. As soon as she rose from her seat, the music came to a halt, while the clip resumed playing at the regular pace. The young lady vanished out of the chamber. As soon as the seconds elapsed, the stillness was abruptly broken by a terrifying scream emanating from the girl, accompanied by the sound of stabbing. The trailer's final scene displayed the title of the anti-piracy PSA, Piracy, It's a Crime, after the yelling had ceased. The background of the text was stained with blood, while the text itself appeared as usual in white. The sight of that gruesome incident left me with a blank expression, and a strong urge to vomit due to the distressing and graphic visuals. The public service announcement eventually concluded by displaying a dark screen, accompanied by the audio of a door being forcefully shut, as heard in the soundtrack. For 10 seconds, the screen turned black, leaving me sitting idly on my couch, anticipating any further developments. Evidently, an event or action occurred. A male actor dressed as a pirate appeared suddenly on the dark screen, with a black and white filter, and a female scream that made me jump out of fear. The frightening sight caused me to yell loudly, and tumble from my position behind the sofa. The final PSA came to a definite conclusion. The sudden jump scare caused me to hyperventilate intensely. Upon entering my room, my mother inquired about the subject of my recent disturbances. I explained the reason behind my shrill cry, and supported my statement by reinserting the DVD into my Xbox One. Upon witnessing the atypical elongated segment, her shock mirrored my own. Fortunately, it was still early in the morning with the clock striking 10 a.m., enabling my mother and I to hop into our car, and head back to the markets to deliver the rented DVD, shortly after I had captured photographic evidence. The individual who sold the DVD to me, expressed true remorse, and my mother and I graciously pardoned him for his error. He openly declared his intent to dispose of the DVD, and it can be assumed that he followed through with his plan. During that evening, I was haunted by numerous terrifying dreams in relation to the advertisement. My dreams were filled with horrific scenarios of those four men taking my life, in the exact same manner they had done to their previous victims. My most dreadful dream involved a pirate who approached me as I slumbered. He proceeded to observe me intently, before tilting his head and disappearing with an unsettling cracking noise. After his departure, I detected the sound of a heartbeat, which was followed by his sudden appearance out of thin air. In a loud female scream, he brutally ended my life while sporting a deranged and menacing grin. What is the connection between the horror genre and the piracy ad, and who is the creator behind it?